Well, hey there, everybody. It is Lori McLean, and I don't know if you can see her, but I have my uh, co-host today, Bella, also known as B. We call her B. She's our uh, little tabby cat, and uh, she's quite quite curious because I'm in the bedroom and I'm filming this. And well, this is her nap time, so I think she's a little perturbed because I'm I'm in here filming a video, but we're gonna power through. <laughs> So today we are talking about the flu and what you can do if you happen to catch the flu this holiday season and throughout the winter. Um, I had the flu last week and that was why I started this series actually <laughs> about the cold and flu. So this week we are talking about what you can do if you do catch both of those things. So if you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel. I post videos every week of interest to those people with rheumatoid arthritis or chronic illness, autoimmune diseases, whatever the case may be. Let's talk about the stomach flu. It's horrible. If you catch the stomach flu, let's be honest, right? Nobody likes having a cold or the flu, but the stomach flu, ooh, so horrible. So you want to stay hydrated for sure. And one of the ways that you can stay hydrated and know that you're getting your electrolytes is to grab some Gatorade or G2 or even Pedialyte. If you don't like the, the dye and the sugar that's in G2 and Gatorades, I have had Pedialyte before and found it, it was fine. It was great. And it has those electrolytes in it. You can just sip, 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 sip little bits of water if you're vomiting or have diarrhea because you're losing a lot of fluid. So the other thing that you will need to do is you want to control that nausea and you want to stop that vomiting. So one of the ways to do that is to grab some travel tabs. I have them on hand um, all the time because I use them with my methotrexate as well. So travel tabs are like the generic kind of gravel. And here in Canada, we have to get them from the pharmacist. So just go to your pharmacist and ask them for those. They're not kept on the floor. They're, they're kept behind the counter, but don't discount ginger. It also helps. Something else I always like to have on hand is ginger ale. Here in Canada, we have Canada Dry, and I know it's available in the US as well. It has real ginger in it. I find it, it just soothes the nausea. You know, and I've been, <laughs> we would drink ginger ale when I was kids if we got sick. And there's just something nostalgic about it. And it just, it helps, it really does. Of course, you wanna keep things light as far as food goes, if you have the stomach flu. So again, something else that I like to nibble on is dry and crunchy, and that is crackers. Just plain old premium plus crackers. Helps again, just calm that stomach a little bit. Something else talking about ginger is ginger chews. Now there's a recipe on Pinterest that I'm gonna post a link to. I have not made them yet, but I've seen others who have and say that they are excellent. If you like ginger, this is something you might wanna have on hand as well. Lemon and ginger tea is also something that I use a lot during the, the winter, and especially if I have a cold or the flu. I throw a little bit of honey in there and oh, it's so soothing and so comforting. Love it. So let's talk about the cold, the common cold, right? A few years ago, I had a nasty, nasty cold and it, yeah, it turned into an ear infection, turned into a sinus infection. I wasn't very healthy and I was not very happy, but I learned a few tricks during that time because that sucker lasted and lasted and lasted. I couldn't get rid of it. Needed to get some antibiotics to finally kick it out. But I went back, you know, old school and uh, I grabbed some Neocitrin. That helped a lot, especially if I would take it before bed just down a cup of Neocitrin along with some Sudafed, I would get a really good night's rest, which is so important. Another thing I invested in a few years ago was a neti pot. My doctor suggested it to help flush my sinuses. Sometimes if I use the neti pot right at the beginning when my nose is burning and I'm sneezing and it's itchy and your eyes are runny, if I use that neti pot, it will sometimes stop it from progressing and getting worse. Now, if you go over to my Facebook, if you haven't already, like that page, link to that in the description below. I'm going to be posting a video on how to use a neti pot and what I do. Plus, I put other kinds of great stuff. I've been putting tips all along from last week's video up until now, and I'll continue into the next week, posting more tips about what you can do if you catch the cold or the flu. So lemon ginger tea, neocitrin, Sudafed, neti pot. What else can you do? Well. Oftentimes, along with the cold comes the chills, achy bones, achy joints, you know, achy muscles. In fact, I'll even say when I get a cold sometimes, my skin even aches. So I like to use my heated blanket. 
so comforting once again and it just it helps with the aching now the other thing that used to happen more than it does now when i was younger when i caught the flu or a cold my joints would flare it was inevitable you know most people will get a little achy well i would go into a flare so manage your flare as well as having the cold or the flu now there are times folks when you will need to seek medical attention here's when you need to go to the doctor if you have the flu or a cold So that's when you need to go and seek some medical attention. Don't let this linger. If you feel that you need to go to the doctor, then go. Because for those of us with a compromised immune system, something simple, you know, like the cold can turn into an ugly monster in no time. It can escalate to pneumonia. It could turn into a throat infection, a lung infection. It can turn into an ear infection, sinus infection. There are so many things that can happen. So really, Start with prevention, but if you do catch something, if it's lingering and it's lasting for what you think is too long, seek medical attention immediately. Well, everybody, that's it for this episode of RA Raw. Hopefully these tips will help you throughout this cold and flu season. I really hope you don't have to use them, but if you do, they're here. Everybody, thank you for tuning in, and I'll be back next week with another video. Everybody take care. Bye for now.